Hey guys, what is up? It is 8.50 in the morning on Saturday, October 8th, I believe. Today's the 8th, the 9th maybe. Um, and I am packing to leave for my fall break trip. We're going to the mountains. Uh, it's like two and a half hours from my house, so it's a nice little getaway. Um, the two books that I am bringing with me this weekend are Frankenstein by Mary Shelley, which I am 40-ish pages into, and A Slew Foot by Brom, which is a beautiful cover, first of all, but it is a classic witchy story. Um, my cat just pounced on my foot, so that's fun. It's a classic witchy story of going into the woods, asking for help, a dark entity answering that plea for help. I'm really excited to read it. So I thought I would bring it with me this weekend. I'm still a little bit nasally. Um, if you watched my last vlog, I mentioned that I got sick, but I'm feeling better with Mucinex's help. Uh, that's not a sponsor, but um, I'm just packing my bag and getting ready to head out. So I will probably do a lot of B-roll this, this uh, vlog. I'm only gonna do up till Tuesday, which is when my fall break ends. So. Um, this will be a little fall break memory vlog. I will talk to you later. Hello friends, it is Tuesday. I don't know the actual date, but you know, it's Tuesday. Um, I'm doing another weekly vlog. At the end of my last vlog, I said, hey guys, I'm getting sick. And that was on f Thursday. Um, I was like, I'm gonna do a weekend vlog for my fall break because I'm going to the mountains. And I did go to the mountains, but I was incredibly sick the whole weekend from Friday. Today is Tuesday. I'm finally like a little bit better, but I pretty much laid in the hotel room the entire weekend. I have tested negative for every everything um, that they tested for, including you know what, um, I don't want to say it and get this video taken down, um, but I did test negative for all that. They just said it was a really bad cold, so I just took a ton of Mucinex and just stayed in bed, um, but I did get to see some pretty leaves changing in the mountains. Anyway, um, so for my reading update for you guys, I did not read it all this weekend. I was just so sick and miserable and it just didn't happen. So my priorities for this week are Slewfoot by Brom. Um, I have not even started this, but I really want to finish it this week. Um, and I also would love to finish Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. And I'm also listening to Razorblade Tears, um, which I would love to finish, but I'm not sure I'm going to. I've been listening to it instead of listening to music while I drive to school, which is about 30 minutes. So that gives me about an hour in the morning of audiobook and an hour in the evening of audiobook. So that's pretty good. Um, but yes, I just thought I'd start this vlog off. It is Tuesday, my dudes. Um, I am going to be doing some moving stuff this week, going through things, getting rid of things. Um, I've already done my books, which if you want to watch my book on a haul, it's there. Um, so yes, I just thought I'd say hello, pop in, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, it is Wednesday night and I have just finished my class readings in these two books. So I updated you on my last vlog on them, so I'll do that in this one as well. So Evelyn Blas still not sure how to pronounce that, um, Vile Bodies. I read two page, I believe like 150, 150 tonight. So I read about 50 pages of that. And then I read about 50 more pages of, um, uh, Zadie Smith's, uh, NW and I'm on page 109. So those are my two class reading books that I have for tomorrow that I needed to read today. Um, and then I have been reading there is no devil by sophie lark this is the second book in the i don't know what the duology is called but the first one is called there are there is no saints um it is a very dark romance and when i say dark i mean uh i wouldn't recommend to a lot of people um it is could be considered very traumatic for some people um so if you're interested in it it's basically about two Hey, it's about two serial killers who kind of show off to each other and they're in the same city and they find this girl named Mara and they are obsessed with her for two different reasons. One kind of is in love with her and one kind of wants to kill her and some bad stuff happens. Um, I can't tell you what the second book is about because it would 
spoil the first book um, but that is what the first book is about but there's tons of trigger warnings for that book um, some really serious serious trigger warnings so look into that if you want um, but I am 23% of the way into uh, There Is No Devil um, and yeah so I'm gonna read that tonight instead of listening to Razor Blade Tears which I'm about 60% of the way through um, and then my other updates I'm gonna try and finish Pride and Prejudice this month along with Romeo and Juliet I'm about 50% of the way through each of those um, Frankenstein I'm on still on page like 47 or something I'm gonna bring this to school with me tomorrow and um, read it in between my classes and then I have not started slew foot but I would like to by Friday um, so that is kind of my very scattered reading update for you um, that's not even all the books I'm reading right now but those are the ones I'm kind of focusing on so yes, um, I am going to lay down and read a little bit. I've watched some booktube today. I also tore the skin off my thumb and it is raw and it hurts so bad. I'm just like really having not a great time. I don't know if you can tell, but I am feeling a lot better. Um, I still have some nasally stuff going on. I did test negative for you know what again today. So I do feel comfortable going back to school tomorrow with a mask. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what's going on. I'm finally feeling a little bit better. Um, and I hopefully will see my fiance tomorrow. I have not seen Mitch in like over a week and a half, which is like a long time. Um, so hopefully I can go over there and see him tomorrow. So I'm going to get to reading and sleeping and I will check in with you guys tomorrow, which is my first day back for, from fall break, which I was sick the whole time. So um, Thursday, here we come. Okay, I know this isn't a reading update. I also just changed shirts because I had a stain on the last one. Also, my hair is like fading in one place. Why do I have this streak? Anyway, um, can we just discuss? Taylor's new album comes out next week. I'm so excited. Um, I'm claiming Vigilante shit and Antihero. Those are the ones I'm claiming right now before, before listening. Um, and I'm just so excited. Um, if you're a Swifty, let me know. Let's be besties. And yeah, I'm wearing my folklore t-shirt crop top thing and I'm getting ready to go. I just wanted to check in and like, ah! hey guys, what is up? You can see me in the mirror back there. I thought I would, hello. It is now Thursday. I just got home from school and I'm about to head over to my fiance's house, Mitch. I'm just gonna refer to him as Mitch from now on. If you know, you know. Um, this is Loki, if you haven't met him yet. Say hi, Loki. So, I thought I would go through and just update you on what I'm currently reading. I know I kind of did it last night, but now I have the books that I wanted to talk about in front of me. So, yes. So, on Kindle Unlimited, I am reading There Is No Devil by Sophie Lark. And I am now at, like, a little bit over 40% of that. I read 10% last night. Um, then we have... Romeo and Juliet. I am annotating this and I am on page I am on page 41 of this and if you can see where you can't really see but I don't have that much left so um and then Pride and Prejudice I am also annotating and I am 119 pages into this one and then I won't tell you guys about the ones for school just because I updated you on those last night and those haven't changed. Um, I did get to page 98 of Frankenstein in between my classes today. Um, so I don't have terribly, uh, probably like another 100 pages or so. Um, but I'm really enjoying this a lot. Um, I will say that I enjoyed it a lot more uh, at the beginning with the letters. Um, I understand that the voice has changed because we're having a different speaker, like the letters at the beginning of the story are written by someone different than Frankenstein, who tells the rest of the story. And I think I liked the character's voice more that was the letter writer. Um, but we'll see. Um, it's just not giving me the vibes that I wanted it to. I think the writing is absolutely beautiful, but it's just not giving me those spooky vibes. Um, but I am highlighting some stuff in here that I'm enjoying. 
And finally, razor blade tears. I was literally looking for my phone and I'm literally talking to my phone right now. Um, razor blade tears, I'm probably close to 75 or 80%. I listened to it on the way home and I haven't checked what percent I'm at, um, but I was at 70 earlier. So I would say probably 75 or 80 right now. Um, I have two hours left of the audiobook. Um, I, with radio, okay, so with razor blade tears, it's a fantastic book. And if you are someone who likes, I want to say kind of like Keanu Reeves, John Wick, uh, Taken kind of movies um, that you would like this book. It is a very action packed. It reads like an action movie kind of book. But I, I, I rate books based on vibes and I just am not vibing with this. I think it's fantastically crafted. I think it's like, it's so weird because I'm literally just like praising it, but I'm probably going to end up giving it like a three star just because it's taken me forever to get through. And um, I don't know, it just, it's been a little bit repetitive, um, but I think it's a really well done book. So if you're really into action kind of things, I would definitely recommend Razor Blade Tears. Definitely look up trigger warnings. But yes, so that is our reading update. Um, I will probably check in with you guys a little bit later today. Um, or maybe tomorrow. I haven't checked if I have to read Hamlet tonight because I may have to read all of Hamlet tonight so that'll add something to this vlog but if not um uh the plan is to read the rest of Frankenstein and then Slewfoot bringing off the edge of the week so talk to you later. Hey guys, it is Friday. I just woke up from a nap after my morning class. I was so tired this morning that my notes look like not even English. Like they, I will never be able to read them. They're literally just little scribbles. So that's nice. Um, that's great. And I know my teacher kept looking at me because I kept falling asleep. So that's wonderful. Um, but it is now like three o'clock. And I finished Razor Blade Tears on the way to school this morning. I ended up giving it four stars. I really appreciate the craft and the work that went into this novel. Like you can tell that the writing is just fantastic and so vivid and just so raw and real. Um, I will say like this does have a lot of gore in it, um, homophobia, racism. Um, so it's not for, it's not just a light read. Um, so, but it was really good. I'm just not giving it five stars just because it just wasn't something that was a page turner for me or a audio turner for me. Um, but anyway, I am taking a break from Frankenstein right now to pick up Slewfoot. Finally, I told y'all I was going to read it. Um, and I'm so excited about this. I'm about to pick it up. I'm probably going to go sit either outside, um, cause it's like 60 degrees outside or just get cozy and read it. Um, very excited about this. So I will let you know my initial thoughts when I stop reading and I'll let you know. Hello, it is now Saturday night and I am with Mitchell and Grace. <laughs> oh. And um, I've read 40 pages of Slewfoot. That's pretty much my only um, update for the end of this vlog. I'm going to start probably another one tomorrow on Sunday. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and I will talk to you next week.